I could make my brand a truly made in Ghana um, business. And that became so exciting for me. I'm Vanessa Canby, and in this video, I'll be interviewing Ruby, the owner of Kua, a fashion and accessories business in Ghana. We'll learn about her journey from Ghana to America and back again, and why it was so important for her to have a made in Ghana business. I'm here with Ruby, the founder of Kua, and we're in Galleria, an amazing space that she's got here. And I can't wait to find out where it all started and where we're here today and the future of Kua as well. Thanks so much for talking to me, Ruby. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> so how did Kua start? Kua started by me taking one um, jewelry making class some years ago, about 12 years ago. And um, I got so hooked that I started making jewelry and selling to the point where I decided to go to fashion school. Oh, wow. So after having a career as a financial analyst in Atlanta, I moved to New York and went to fashion school. I went to FIT and then I took some handbag design classes and voila, here we are. And so were you born in Ghana? Born and raised in Ghana, yes. And then moved to the US for yes, university? Yes, for college, exactly, yes. Oh, so, so how did you find that moving from Ghana to the US? Um, very exciting for me. I was sheltered <laughs> being raised in Ghana, so loved the freedom, loved the fact that I was my own self and I could explore, do different fun things. So I totally, I wasn't one of those who was all homesick about leaving home. I was so <laughs> excited to be out of the nest. <laughs> And then when did you decide to move back to Ghana and start your business here? I decided so after college, you know, I would visit often and it, with every visit, I felt more like, hmm, this thing could be a reality or this could happen. But I still didn't really think I was moving back home. Aww. I really just enjoyed coming for Christmas, coming to party, coming for summer and then going back. But uh, my husband moved and so we started talking and I was like, I guess I'm moving. And once I wrapped my mind around moving back, it got so exciting because I realized that I could use Ghanaian labor. I could make my brand a truly made in Ghana um, business. And that became so exciting for me. So prior to that, were you making the products yourself? Making the products myself in the US. In the US. Yes. So I started the jewelry and the handbags in the US. And were you using African print there as well? I Ghanaian? was using African print, yes. Oh, nice. Yes. And so how did you get from the jewellery classes and the handbag making classes yourself to this fully fledged business? Um, it was a step at a time. Started with the jewellery, went on to the handbags, then I got a shop in Ghana when I came because back then it was just online. Okay. And then when I got here, I got my first shop in Laboni and after a couple of years we got a bigger space in Labadi and just this December I got this space. So I started with the jewellery, out of the handbags and then added the kids line and grew, got a bigger location and then added the second location. So one of the things I love is like the baby collection, right? I started Kua Kids after I had my daughter. So as you can tell, it's like a passion project. And I mean, who won't fall in love with these little cuddly ones and like the baby shoes. I was actually joking and telling someone that people actually get the baby shoes even when they don't need them because they are just so cute. Yeah, but they are all made in Ghana. We source all the materials from Ghana and we have a workshop. Actually, our workshop is at our Labadi location. So upstairs and then the boutique is downstairs. And for the animals so far, the range we have, we have people say pony, some say zebra. We just let the kids decide what it is just because of this side. So we have that, and then we have the elephants, we have the monkeys, um, that's what we have. Um, we don't have frogs now, but we do have some frogs and some dolphins. Um, in the kids section, we have a lot of pretty girl dresses for little girls. Um, our ages are from infants to, I'll say 10 years. And if the kids are older, you can actually order the product. And um, we have, boy stuff, stuff for boys, and these bumper jackets are quite popular for little boys, but they are unisex, so little boys, little girls, it all works out. Um, if you'll notice, we do have African print on everything, so sometimes it's just a touch of African print, or sometimes it's mostly African print with a touch of something else, but that's part of our brand. Um, Kua 
is actually my mom's name. I named my company after my mom. But the KUA also stands for keeping us authentic. So to me, what inspires me is what do I feel is authentic about my culture, about my travels, about my life, and I use that as inspiration for my designs. Yeah, have you had any struggles along the way? Oh, definitely, <laughs> yes. Doing business in Ghana, it comes with a territory. But it's fun at the same time, right? So you, the way I look at challenges is something you have to overcome. And when you overcome it, you feel extra good about it. I mean, only for the next challenge to pop up, right? Yeah. And then you have to build up on that. But I see myself as part of the generation that's trying to change the narrative about Ghana, made in Ghana products, doing business in Ghana. A lot of people still have a bit of a negative mindset. And so when they see that some of us started really small and we keep growing, I feel like it gives hope. But it's also fulfilling for us to know that I can do this in Ghana and people from all over the world will come shop mm -hmm. my product yeah. or I mail it to them. So yeah. it's good. Challenges are there, but overall it's quite exciting. It's positive. It's positive, yes. And do you ship internationally? I do ship internationally. Oh, yes. great. And how mm -hmm. long does it take? Like if somebody, if I was in the UK and I ordered something from here, how long it's would it take? It's actually taken two days before, but I tell people two three days? to five days. That's so yes, quick. Yes, because we use DHL. Okay. So they are really fast, three to five days. Um, so as I mentioned, women's wear, we have African print um, designs, Again, this is one of the popular ones, the bomber jackets, um, dresses. Usually what I look for is something you can wear, dress up or dress down. So you can take it to work or you can also go out with girlfriends in the evening. That's what we mostly do. Um, so, and then for the accessories, which most people know Kua for, our handbags. These are some of our very popular designs the um, Africa bag and then the Jinyami bag if you're Ghanaian you know what Jinyami means so um, means um, God is everywhere or omnipotent God right and um, so the bags too they have a touch of African print on them and I've heard that in Ghana like the fashion industry is booming like booming, it's really booming, taking, booming, off. taking off so yes. what have you seen the changes since you arrived to now i think i would even take it a bit further growing up if you wanted to go into fashion you were not quite encouraged you know the parents oh. wanted you to be a doctor an accountant an architect you know because it felt safer and i don't blame them there they knew there was stability when it came to the creatives they were a bit are you sure that's what you want to do? But now it's different. You know, a lot of young kids are going to fashion school. A lot of kids are expressing themselves. Some of us are even, you know, joining them, seeing how like free they are to express their creativity. So I think it's definitely changed a lot. You get to see a lot of people who are designers, who are starting their own business online. So the scene has changed quite a bit and it's very promising, very hopeful mm -hmm. for me as a Ghanaian. And is there any fashion schools here in Ghana? Oh, there are a few fashion schools. I didn't do fashion school in Ghana, yeah. but there are a few fashion schools in Ghana here, yes. Do I know, know there's Joyce Abebio. What is the future for Kua? Like, where do you see Kua in the um, future? Growth. Um, it'll be nice to have stores in other parts of the world. I'm looking at South Africa. I'm looking at Europe. I'm definitely mm -hmm. looking at the US. But I just want to do more growth. So, as in more stores and online. My online is not where I need it to be. Okay. So I'm definitely looking forward to pushing and pushing harder. I feel like every woman needs a core product in their closet. Every child needs a core product. Yeah. <laughs> I, when I walked in, I instantly saw the kids stuff. I feel like when you've got kids, you're actually not even thinking about yourself I mean, anymore. Come on. You know what I mean? You're just thinking about the kids. And I thought, amazing. And that's exactly what you said. You're like, oh, you have kid products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that fact. And also you've got Thank like cuddly you. toys and stuff as well yes. with the yes. fabric, yes. which I love. And Jewelry is usually inspired by my travels though, so I love pieces that look unique. You may not find it everywhere in Ghana. Um, the leaves are actually real leaves coated in gold. Yes, they are real leaves acid washed and coated in gold. Uh, so even with the earrings, you'll notice no two are exactly alike. Even though they are paired, they are not identical. And um, I love stones, so you can see stones like that gives it a bit of a rustic, bohemian, chic feel. And you can see our beads, we have all the different names on there. We have the year of return. <laughs> yes, so 
um, mostly during like December, people will come, pick their beads, pick their name, and they will just string it for them. And I saw that during the Christmas period, there was celebrities coming through. Yes, How did yes, you manage yes. to get them to come to Kua? Um, so I do ask people, not just the celebrities, but people in general who came to Ghana for the year of return or Afro Nation or Afro Chela, and they tell me a lot the hashtags, you know, some people will research made in Ghana or oh, right. year of return or, you know, just different hashtags. And they said it eventually took them to me. But okay. in terms of the celebrities, um, Bozuma St. John is a personal friend and she's been good at introducing me to her friends, her circle. And they've been, once they come in and they love the product, they are hooked. Yeah, that's so nice. <laughs> so what do you think of the year of return? I think it's actually a very good campaign that Ghana has um, put out. Um, it's been a great way to boost tourism. And what I actually love most about the Year of Return campaign is the fact that the money ends up directly in the hands of the Ghanaians, right? Mm -hmm. So take away the airlines and maybe some hotels. But when you purchase a Quad product, it's impacting yeah. my life and my employees and our families. So I feel like such campaigns actually end up boosting the economy in a very cool like, way yeah. you know as an entrepreneur it's like organic so, as very well. organic exactly mm -hmm. so i think it's been successful we had loads and loads of people in ghana it was crazy loads of events no one can say there was nothing to do you know yeah. so overall i think it's been good and what's been great is there's momentum mm -hmm. march a lot of people are coming because oh, it's independence day okay. then chalote is coming up in april i mean august yeah so people are coming so the way I see it, it will continue picking up and we won't have high or low season, like peak season. Pretty People much all times you come to Ghana, you have going to have a good time. Actually, I do hope that's what ends up happening. Yeah, no, that's amazing because actually like people with kids like myself, I might not bring them just in December, December for just two weeks, right? Busy. Yes. I'll probably take them in the summertime. So people with kids, you know, there's exactly. different times that are good for different exactly. people. Yep. Thanks so much for talking to me today. Thank it you was a too. pleasure. It was my pleasure as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much. See you soon. Don't forget to watch all my other Ghana videos, which are in a Ghana playlist.